Hey, what's going on, y'all? How you doing? It is Sunday. Still recovering from Thanksgiving. And since I had Thanksgiving, it was a blessed one. Those are going to be my lunches for work. But it was good, so I'm going to enjoy it. I know Tyson was, uh, he enjoyed it. I made sure he had his Thanksgiving. And, um, you know, it ushers in the season, the season of Christmas. And I feel it in my spirit that it's going to be, as they always say, one of miracles. <coughs> but I wanted to put this out um, today, this morning, before I really get into my day. Um, first of all, I'm rude. I'm sorry. Hi, my name is Gerald Davis. I'm a life coach and an aspiring psychologist. The, the greatest choice I ever made in becoming a man it was embracing my spiritual uh, journey in October of 2011 therefore I decided to chronicle my life as well as convey a message of hope compassion and love you're saying well why because I know I'm not alone I also know that there are those that are frustrated you, all you want is to have a harmonious life but somehow along the way there's been distractions I'm here to let you know you're not alone so if someone give if someone is giving you this video number one thank them because they love you they actually see worth in you and potential just like for myself I know that someone prayed for me and someone's praying for you but because we are spiritual beings first we must first take ownership for who we are that's right first and foremost I say this because if you don't take ownership of who you are you allow yourself to be exploited you allow yourself to be placed in situations that may not be in your best interest and it also compromises your value and self-worth of who you are. So, first of all, if you're going through some trying times, if you're having a hard time processing where you are, just know this, it too shall pass. The one thing about being on this planet is you're going to go through some tests yes you are but just know this if you have not made a decision to embrace your spirituality for one you have free will that's your choice but I'll tell you this when you truly make the authentic choice to do so your life is going to change it's going to change in such a profound way because it's going to age you in your direction is going to guide your steps and the more and more you stay prayed up to your higher power my higher power is my Lord Jesus Christ but I also know he is one of many names but as long as you stay vigilant and trust he's got so much for your life you gotta understand something there's only one you no one can do it better but you no one will have your smile no one will have your intellect no one will look will have your DNA that's what makes you priceless so to go back you've got to own you it is time for you to roll up the sleeves look at those challenges come up with a plan and see when I say come up with a plan it's because you're first willing to look at your obstacles see we're in a season right now where finances are being questioned relationships are being challenged and understanding is being divided all to pull away from who you are 
Now, I've come to learn that it shouldn't take an event to get your attention. It shouldn't. Because usually when things happen, it's always from a traumatic nature. Just know this. No matter what the challenge may be, no matter what it is, if it didn't kill you, it's going to make you stronger. But it's not going to make you stronger in the sense of physicality. It should make you stronger in your heart. It should make it should foster clarity in your mind. It should anchor in your spirituality, your foundation. Don't you think you're worth it? See, right now, in my spirit, first of all, I'm not a minister. I'm not. I just, I am a man that is spiritual in nature. I have a strong faith and discernment. But I'm also humble enough to express myself because I know I'm not alone. I know I'm not alone. We all want to be the same when you, when you, when you break it down. We want to feel safe emotionally, secure physically, and live out our direction. Being in harmony. Isn't that what you want? Aren't those the three things you really, really want? Well, if that's the case, you also realize that anything that's made of man's hands comes with an expiration date. It's temporary. So, to have the things that you truly need for your life, notice I said need, you've got to look at the worth. More or less, understand the sacrifice that what, what is required. Why? Because you deserve it. You deserve it. But see, no one, and I repeat, no one has dominion in your life to change it. They can influence it. You have dominion over your life. That's why we have free will. Okay, let's look at it in a different perspective. Think back in your childhood. Right? I'll give some of y'all a little bit to get there. Let me just play. But think about that moment that you made a decision in your childhood. And it wasn't in your best interest. And your parents came to you. Maybe it was your mom or your dad. If it was your dad, your dad probably strung you up. But if it was your mom, lovingly, because women have the gift of nurturement, said, you know you were wrong. You know you were wrong. If you just took five seconds to think about what you do, that would change your life. So basically, what would they say in the back burner? They would say this. So, if you saw Johnny on a, on a bridge and he said, jump, would you do what Johnny did? Of course you wouldn't. Why? Because you see your worth. You understand the importance of your life. But see, as we grow up, as we mature, and unfortunately, some of us haven't gotten there yet, but we will, we attract those experiences for our growth. That included is the people we interact with. The people that you align yourself are, are really a direct reflection of who you are within yourself. That's why you hear the proverbial saying, birds of a feather flock together. So, if you are with someone that you know good and well, you both share different perspectives on moral ground, you've got to question yourself honestly. What is the connection? What is the tie that binds you together? And you must be truthful to yourself. Because see, we can fool anyone outside our world, but we can't fool ourselves. We can't. That's why your spirit has that thing called regret, shame, and, and 
to stress. That's what comes with it when we are not living in our purpose. That is to serve as a reference point to guide you back to where you should be. But you first must be honest with yourself. You must take ownership for your choices. No one made you do it. You chose that. So when I'm, you know, I'm gonna go there, Queens. So when you, when one of your girlfriends say, "What? Well, oh man, our dogs." No, what she's really saying is because I don't see my self worth. I don't trust myself. I make bad choices in who I allow access to my life. And I don't get the outcome that I truly desire. That's what she's really saying. So, let's go back to initial point. My kings, I know it's not easy being a man. But it, it's your God-given right. But you must take the walk less traveled like every man before you and that is to find yourself it serves two very important points why you must do so number one it protects your mind and second your choices or your body and if mind and body are not as one, all it does is attract chaos for the wrong people or situations. So you got to understand something. We are spiritual beings, but we, are, we get caught up in a physical form. We attract the people and situations that are connected to those people into our life because it is attracting the connection of our spirit. So if your spirit is not weak, if your spirit is weak, you're going to attract the people that are not going to have your best interest. Prime example. You already know that you and alcohol don't work out. You allow Every time you just say, I ain't going to go to the club and drink, uh-uh. But what happens? That negative influence, because your self-worth is challenged, you fall for the peer pressure, and you become the person you resent. But here's the irony of it all. If you look at your environment, and your environment truly has your best interest, why wouldn't they step in and say, hey, uh-uh, that ain't the way. Why? Because truly they don't have your best interest. And a lot of times when you see them laughing, they're not laughing with you, they're laughing at you. Because they see that you have no boundaries. Don't play yourself. Don't play yourself. Here's another thing. My kings, do you want your queen? Honestly, do you want your queen? If you want your queen, you are required to do the work. To be the best you, you can be. This is not something that can happen overnight. You have to change every aspect about yourself. That is why the perceptions that are being, that is in your present state of mind, is the way they are. Because you're not investing in yourself. You're actually doing the opposite, which makes you come off as a hypocrite. If you want people to take you serious, you must first take yourself serious and do the work. You must own your fears. You must master them. When you master your fears, you obtain your blessings from each challenge. Because now it doesn't have dominion in your life or influence. See, here's the funny thing. 
and, and I was all I was there at one time too. You know, I I can smile about it now, but, but I'm gonna tell you, what you don't want to do is allow yourself to constantly be in a negative cycle, where in which when you think that you're doing positive, but in actuality, for every one step you take, you take five steps back. It's because there's no balance there. There's no balance. And if there's no balance there, there's no consistency. And if there's no consistency there, how can you have the person in the life that you need compared to what you want? Am I lying, Queen? So, here's my thing. For those who may be going through relationship issues, hear the sound of my voice. Do you want it to change? It can change dramatically. This is what you do. You own everything you've done. You speak your truth. You must first atone for each and every choice that was not in your best interest. Even that one. Yeah, that one. The one that you've been trying to bury for a long time. But guess what? Every now and then, it resurfaces. And it cuts you each and every time. And it hurts. So what do you do? You, you mask it. You find a way of escaping May it be through alcohol, may it be through drugs, may it be through intimacy. But little do you know, man, look at your life like a bank account. If you're not putting anything in it, you're going to get insufficient funds each and every time. And until you decide to change the way you think, the perceptions, you can't change your steps. You're trapped. You're stuck. But guess what? It doesn't have to be that way. It doesn't. You need to embrace your spiritual path. And guess what happens when you do? First of all, the people that don't have your best interests, they can't be around you. They're going to challenge what's going on. They're going to feel it first. And what's going to happen is there's going to be a spiritual division placed between you and them. Why? Because now you're protected. You're protected. And your higher power protects his own. That is why he is, as I know him, as a jealous yet loving God. So, once again, do you see your work? Do you, I mean, really. I mean, how's your life been working out thus far? You gotta be honest with yourself. You got to. And I can say this compassionately because I done been there, brother. I done been there. I done been down that road of <sighs> countless Allowing people that did not have act, that just women. I was, you know, I was a player. Little did I know I was playing myself. Playing myself. Because when I look back, all that time that I could have just invested in the one, I spared myself then, and I had none. But little did I know what was being manifested. See, you know why the relationships don't work? No matter how hard you do, I know you're scratching, you're beating your head like, man, I don't get it. She don't get me. It's because you're not supposed to be with her. You're not. And what is really happening is these people are being served as your life lessons. Reason being, because the person that you're going to become next to him is the one your queen and she's relying that you make sound choices to change 
But just know, when you do so, she will reciprocate all your desires, all your dreams, and you'll do it together. Though we came into this planet by ourselves, it is not meant for you to walk on this planet by yourself. That is why you hear people say, each one, teach one. So if the people in your life do not build you up and they tear you down, what is being manifested is to teach you the lessons of placing boundaries. And until you see your self-worth, you're going to remain where you are. You cannot grow. That is the price that is to be you. That is your, these are your life lessons. And yes, I know there are going to be some people who say, man, you don't know me. You don't know what I'm going to do. No, my brother, I don't. But I still see your worth. You deserve to have the life intended. You are, you are, you are supposed to have every dream that you can fathom in your mind as you should. However, if you, but you got to believe. Remember the, okay, for those who remember the Wiz, Lena Horne's character, the fairy godmother, the song she sung, what was it? If you believe in yourself beautiful song, spoke volumes, but here's the kicker of that. To believe in yourself, you must first position yourself to walk by, walk by faith and not by sight. That means you're going to have courage to take the road less traveled, because guess what? You know what's on that road? Your destiny, my brother. Your destiny. And it is so bright but it will not fall in your hands. It won't. It's not meant to do that. Because if it did, guess what? You would not grow. You couldn't learn. You would be more or less of an inanimate, an inanimate object. Just like, just like, unfortunately, the results of people that choose to not embrace their life. They settle. And who wants to settle? You see it happen all the time. They get into an abyss of depression and they allow drugs to escape their problems. But guess what? When they come down, there's still them problems are there, but it's intensified. Yes, I know that your heart has been beat down. It's got a lot of scars and bruises, but it can heal. You gotta understand something. For those that have been, that have had to suffer a heartbreak, Hey, it be from a from a family member or a loved one or someone of a significant other. You know what the benefit is for going through a heartbreak? That trauma will cause reflection, and that reflection will actually enhance depth of your heart. Cause guess what? I know you're a, you have a beautiful heart, and you have a whole lot of love, and that's why it hurts. See, you don't even realize you have angels and spirit guides around you right now. You may have a loved one that has transitioned in heaven, and they're looking down at you, and they're saying, I love you. You know you're not supposed to do that. Why are you doing this to yourself? Notice I, word, notice I said the word self. If you desire in the back of your mind for the one you cannot attract or usher them in until you love yourself that's how it is that's that's the price that must be paid that is why when you interact with people they don't stick around because there's no love in it because you're not loving yourself because if you were loving yourself why wouldn't you respect yourself? Don't you understand? There's no, there's nothing more alluring to witness than a person's, a person who loves himself, fellas.
here's what I'm talking about. You can sense it in your spiritual self when a woman's got it together. She has a glow about her. What actually you're feeling is her aura. Because she's in sync, mind, body, and soul. And that is really the template of what's waiting for you once you do the work. But our life is a journey. There are hills and valleys that we must walk upon. Directions change. What seemed to be concrete could be not so. In those situations, have faith. Have faith in your direction. You wasn't brought on this planet to suffer, my brother. But you've got to go within yourself. Now is the time that you forgive those people that wronged you. You forgive those people that silenced your voice. Because see, when they silence your voice, they also took, they took something from you, from your spirit. And that's why when you're walking around, you don't feel right. You feel like something's missing. It's love. It's love. You're not loving yourself. So come on back, man. Come on back. It's now time that you claim who you rightfully are. Do not worry about what you see out in the world. Don't. It'll be outside your door time and time again but see when you connect to yourself to your spirit your reality will be made different your associations will do two things they will either grow and enhance or they will separate themselves because you must first have a like-mindedness you must have that yes I know society says opposites attract that is not true that is not true. What do you got to talk about if you don't have a commonality from somewhere? Why do you think it's so easy to have one night stands? Why? Because the person that you're having a one night stand with shares the same mindset as you. But they gotta play the game. Can't can't come off as they're willing knowing that's what their intentions was before they left their home. So respect yourself. Personify the acronym that says Mr. in front of your name. If you only knew your lineage, your heritage, and the generation you represent is relying on you to have sound mind and body. Do not worry. The seeds that you plant today must go through a process of cultivation. This is called time. But I can tell you, rest assured, in the divine moment, in divine time, those seeds that were planted, you will see the harvest because they're yours. And here's on a different note. If you do all those things that I've spoken, your connection with self will be stronger. Your family life will be totally made healed. And you'll have direction and focus on where you're going. Basically what I've just described is you've been made new. But you must first allow your spirit to guide you through him. Don't you think you're worth it? As I tell my queens, stop listening to what is being portrayed through media. Because you see it, because you hear it, doesn't mean it's real. It's all about 
changing your perspective. So, you know that, you know how that old that uh that 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 same monkey see monkey do. You gotta sidestep that. You got to. Prime example. They put it out there into the masses. They use TV. They get someone to be the prop. And not even 24 hours later, you see people emulating. Why? Because these people don't have boundaries. They, they don't see their self-worth. <coughs> For example, you know what one of the great, one of the best illusions is going on right now? One of the greatest, one of the one of the tools that that is being that generates hundreds and hundreds of millions of dollars. I tell you, society is so crappy that it has convinced our queens not to see their worth. But they can't come out and say, "Hey, I don't want you to personify what." God has given you. I don't want you to mock it. I don't want you to suppress it. I don't want you to claim it. And that is one of the reasons why you see so many women with contacts, hiding their hair, restricting them, restricting their bodies. All these women, and I'm, don't get me wrong, I'm not judging, I'm stating fact. I'm stating fact that if these women truly, truly love themselves, they would they would put themselves first. They don't need accessories to enhance who they are because their self worth is going to do it for them. And here's what you see out of that because women, a lot of our queens are waking up and they're saying, you know what? If you sit down and add up all the money that you spend just for your hair, you realize you've just bought yourself a car. Think about it. You've invested the same amount in buying a luxury car. It's it's one of the greatest investing investments if you got money to to invest. Invest in a, a beauty supply store. You'll get paid. Why? Because they use the tools to target the queens that have challenged self-esteem. That's why. Come on now. Think about it. If a woman truly really, really had her stuff together, she ain't gonna come, she's not going to let no man compromise her. She won't. For what? She loves herself. She doesn't need a man to validate who she is because she is spiritually grounded. And she understands that for the one to come, well, guess what? He don't want Shaquita. He don't want her. He wants he wants the real one. He wants the real person. That's why, not to beat you up, Queens, that's why when you interact with a man, all those things that it took to attract him, they don't matter. They probably end up on the floor. But just know, you attracted somebody that was looking for that person and not the real you. So that's kind of, you compromised yourself. But that's okay, you didn't know, you didn't know. But you do now. And lastly, we get ready to go into 2014, and that's going to birth a new chapter in your life. You got to prepare. 2013, you are going to leave a lot of things that did not serve you well behind. Let it be the things that were holding you back. Leave it here, because 
in 2014, you are going to be very happy. But you got to have courage to do so. Okay? So claim your name. Claim your right. Let your higher power, as I know him as my Lord Jesus Christ, guide your steps. And the more you trust him, the more he's going to reveal. And you deserve it. But you first must be honest with yourself. That sets the foundation. Think about it. You can't build a building on unsettled ground. It'll fall. Which, matter of fact, that's in the Bible. I don't want to butcher it, but, you know, the... You know, I'm still a babe in the word, but you know the 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 scripture is saying building a house on the rock compared to building a house on sand. It's talking about the spiritual foundation. That foundation is found with you. You can't buy it. You can't, but you can compromise it. So to define your worth, okay? All right, now you have a blessed weekend and a very safe week. And thank you for standing by, uh, for, uh, for stopping by. But more important, thank you for allowing me to have access to your life. Just like someone prayed for me, I'm praying for you. We're all connected. We're extensions of each other. But it is the journey that we must take to, to have a life that we truly need. As I always say, God is praying for you. You know I am. Okay, y'all, be safe out there. Have a safe and blessed week. All right, y'all. Bye.